So let's try this, uh, Hess's Law. So um, it's similar to the last one, except for instead of solving for um, the delta H of the reaction, sorry, the standard heat of formation of the, or the standard heat of the reaction, um, we're now solving for one of these uh, heats of reaction up here, okay? So not the one that we're looking for, but actually one of the ones that added up to get um, the one that we got now. So anyways, recall what we do um, in order to do this. We have to make sure that everything we've got on this side of the equation is present down here. Everything in, that we have on this side of the equation is present down here. And everything on both, that is on both sides of the equation gets canceled out, okay? So, um, I think like Caitlin was saying, this one's pretty straightforward because if we count the hydrogens, there's two plus one and that equals three. The nitrogens is one, so that equals one. And um, there's this hydrazine here that's, well, this is gas too. I guess I didn't write that. But, um, and I didn't write here. Okay, so, but that hydrazine gets canceled out. And then if we look, we've got two ammonia gas, two ammonia gas, okay? So these two equations add up fairly nicely to get the delta heat of reaction. So remember Hess's law is delta heat of reaction is delta H1 plus delta H2, so on and so forth. So we're solving for delta H1 in this case. So it's going to be change of H of the reaction minus delta H2. And we have both of those numbers. So negative 92.2 kilojoules minus a minus 187.6 kilojoules. So minus, minus, that's a plus, right? 95.4. What is it? Sorry? 95.4. Okay, thanks. 95.4 kilojoules is going to be delta Is this uh, reaction up here, delta H1, that is showing delta H1, is that an exothermic or endothermic reaction? Endothermic. endothermic, right? Because this is actually plus 95.4. So I know it doesn't ask, but. So that means you have to input heat. Okay. Are there any questions on this one? Fairly straightforward, um, pretty straightforward example of Hess's law. 